have oceans of new cells, 90 trillion cells in our body, average, always new, ever new. Why do we age when we have all these new cells? We're subject to the three universal deities. Brahma is the creation of everything. And Brahma is related to creation, newness, birth. Vishnu, Vishnu is the sustainer. He's in balance. So he's kind of hanging out on a snake in the ocean. He has to keep really good balance there in order to stay afloat. And Shiva, the destroyer. And we can think of Shiva as something terrible, or we can think of Shiva as, well, you know, here I have some old, outdated red blood cells, and they're not really doing their job. Um, but Shiva comes in and says, you're out. Time for Brahma to come in and build new red blood cells. And everything, most things, I would say, in some way, if you're on this planet, this realm, are subject to these three, these three energies. So what is aging if all these things are going on all the time, right? We're always being born, and we're always sustaining, and we're always dying off, right? Cells are doing their thing. So what is aging? Aging is a little more Shiva and a little less Brahma and a little less Vishnu. So Shiva just kind of, as we get older, Shiva gets a little stronger, and we stop making as many cells, and we stop sustaining as many cells, and we start breaking down more than we're doing the other things. And we start to see that as we get older. Prenatal and postnatal prana. Prenatal prana, it's a gift that we get from our parents, from our mother and our father. And it is life force, right? That's, that's the gift that they give us as life. We're born with a certain amount. It's limited and valuable. And we can use it up quickly or we can use it up slowly. We can use it up quickly in many different ways. We can use it up by drinking too much, smoking too much, too much stress will use up our prenatal prana. Too much exercise even can use up our prenatal prana. You ever see someone who just like, you know, they have to go out and run 10 miles a day and then it kind of makes them, you hit kind of a bell curve where it's like exercise makes you look good and then at some point you start to look drained. But the good news is, is that even though we're using up our prenatal prana, we can make something called postnatal prana. So yeah, so we get to this point as we age that we really have to pay more attention to our postnatal prana. How are we making it? Because our prenatal prana is starting to wear out. We can make our own postnatal prana through the air we breathe and the food we eat. Those, that's prana, that's how we make our own. We also make postnatal prana through yoga, through asana, through meditation, through pranayama, and through all of the limbs. So telling the truth, right? Can you imagine why always telling the truth would help you to not expend your valuable prenatal prana? You're creating stress in the body, for sure. You never know. I mean, I'm sure we've all lied, right? And sometimes when you tell real whoppers and then you get caught in them and it's really stressful and then you have to tell another one. And so while that's important to know that it's, you know, we shouldn't lie because of karmic reasons. We also, when you lie, you're putting yourself in a really stressful situation. So all of the eight limbs come into play there. Now, pulse natal prana, the making of pulse natal prana is really diminished when we aren't breathing well, we aren't eating well, we aren't transforming our food, transporting it well, assimilating it, or eliminating it well. So this is really the key to aging. How are we doing these things? And when we're dealing with someone, not us, right? Someone who comes to us and they haven't done yoga and they're in this state, how do we help them? 